go back to uh, Steve Harvey. Why you don't like Steve Harvey? I was I was in California when he came to California, and he embraced the Nation of Islam, and he and then the Nation of Islam, being naive, well not being naive, introduced him to Dale Dog Dim and the Main Street Crips, and he said, "I don't need you no more." Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. You understand? And it's not that we we explored each other. If, right. if, 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 it, if it was a, a white man, come on, we'll pay him a million dollars. When I ask you to do something, I want you to do it for free. free. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Steve Harvey, and I don't even like Steve Harvey. You know, uh, you know he's a coon. To, uh, he's a selfish, self-centered person, but he said something one day that made so much. He said, if you're my friend, why should I give you a ticket? You should support me buy a ticket. Yeah. If right. we friends. Hey, uh, e, can you get me in for free? <laughs> what friendship? If I like what you're doing, I'm going to pay to come. But I'm not going to ask you to, hey, man, can you send me a ticket to come to Dallas? No, I. If I need to come here, I'm gonna come. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like you're a friend. Exactly. And and, and if I needed something, I could ask you. Definitely can. You, That's you it. get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's I, real, right? Mm-hmm. So so it's just the things that we do amongst each other are so negative, and we don't look at the picture. We always talk about the problem. We never talk about the solution. I want to go back to uh, Steve Harvey. Why you don't like Steve Harvey? I was I was in California when he came to California and he embraced the nation of Islam and he and then the nation of Islam being naive well not being naive introduced him to Dale Dog Dim and the Main Street Crips and he said I don't need you no more. Wow. You did what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So only for a season. So yeah. So even though his bodyguard is the one that wrote the first book. And he was so jealous of, I can't even think of brother's name. He wrote this book and they were going uh, to different tours and he was aut- signing autographs and Steve became so jealous. He wrote, he wrote a book just like it. Wow. <laughs> think like a man, act like a woman. Yeah, think, think like, like a, a man. Yeah. He got that from his bodyguard. What? He's so jealous. Je- Nephew Tommy is talented. Yeah. Steve is not. His jokes are whack. Everything he do is dumb. He was so dumb one time. He was at the Hollywood, at the forum, and they, it was the Kings of Comedy, and when he came on, his jokes was so whack. Dude, like, man, shut up th- through a Hennessy bottle at him. Mm. And he said, oh, man, I don't care whether you like my, me or not. I got a Rolex watch. Y'all paid for this to get in there. And, yeah, you paid to get in here. Wow. So, you know, that's my personal. He rich, I ain't. You know what I'm <laughs> so he don't care whether I like him or not. Exactly. You know, so it, it, it ain't important to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.